Hey guys, it's me Raymond and today we are going to look at a request from a viewer and that request is the um, Barbie ice cream shop from 1986-87. I would show the box to show you guys what it looks like but it is huge so um, just follow me and we will take a peek at it. So first we're going to take a look at the counter because that is kind of like the main piece here. So. Um, let me get a closer view of this. So first we'll start at this corner and this is like what the box describes as the topping um, area. So I'll take this off. And But for display purposes, um, I actually just have the extra scoops of ice cream in here that I don't have enough like cones and things for um, other than the ones that are in the dispenser. But um, so I just have them like this. These little cups do come out and inside there are two scoops of ice cream each. Um, and it just kind of rotates. But um, the box actually shows like real toppings in it and I'll show that in a minute. But so over here we have some cones, just, you know, ice creams just on the little cones. Um, so here, this is basically just how it works. It just kind of, this comes off. Here is just a cone by itself. It actually does look like a cone on the inside. It's kind of cool. And here is the ice cream scoop. They're actually very detailed looking. I don't know if you guys can really get a feel for the detail there. My nails look disgusting. Do not look at my nails. Oh my God. Why am I putting this on the internet? <laughs> um, anyway, so <laughs> here is the dispenser of cones. Um, it, it, I have a lot in there, but you know, I just don't want to have a lot of these ice creams because they're not really wanting to stand up very well. So I'm lucky these ones are for right now. But um, so this little lid right here does come off and you just kind of pull them down and they'll come out. It's really easy actually. Um, so here is like, I, I'm assuming this is like a fountain drink kind of dispenser. Um, I'm not really sure exactly. My box is actually ripped right where all of the instruct, like not instructions, the, um, the, like the contents are listed. So I only have about half of what, um, is there and I know I'm missing a lot of pieces to this playset. So that's kind of my disclaimer. My playset is not complete. It is far from mint. I actually got, um, this playset in on a local selling wall in like a lot of Barbie things. Like I have, this guy was selling like this, um, the original Barbie dream house. He was selling this playset in the box. Um, not mint, but it had the box with it. Um, he was selling the 1984 Barbie dream kitchen. Um, also had the box and most of the pieces, actually a lot of the little pieces. And, um, also the, um, the Perfume Pretty um, Beauty Salon, which also had its box. And I think that one was like the one that was in the worst shape of all of them. So really, I got a really great deal. It was all $30. I just had to meet him in like some random place and he just sold them to me. So um, yeah, I mean, sometimes you come across really awesome deals like that. And that happened to be one of them. That was really early on in my collecting. I think I was about not even a year into collecting. So but, um, so anyway, here are some like Sunday dishes. Um, one is kind of more like a banana split type dish and the other one is more of a Sunday dish, but I have them there and there are, I think supposed to be four of each of those, but I only have two of the banana split and just one of the other. So, you know, it is what it is though. I got this thing really cheap. Um, so here's a placemat and it is under the, um, the Sunday or the ice cream, whatever. Here is another placemat, and as you can see, it says Barbie Ice Cream Shop on it, and it's actually like a printed thing. It's this kind of material on the bottom. It's very smooth. It really feels like a placemat. There's like a blender right there. Um, I do have the lid. I don't really know where it is. I I used to have this um, displayed on one of my shelves, but um, I took it down a while ago to make room for other things, so I must have dropped it sometime within packing all of that up. I'll have to look for it. Um, here, I think it's just a pink lid though. These are little menus, which also say Barbie ice cream shop on them. And they do open, but there is nothing inside. So just, they just have that print on the front, which is really neat though. There's the lovely midge. <laughs> um, 
inside here, um, there is nothing, but actually this playset is really neat. And I think it's one of the first ones to do this. I'm not really sure, but um, a lot of times in the 80s and 90s, they would have play sets that you like, it was a theme of stuff. Like I think there's a soda shop, there's this one, um, there's like a boat that you can make like, I'm pretty sure like drinks. I don't know. There's just a lot of really random Barbie play sets, but this one, you can actually make ice cream. So inside of this, you like have to freeze this thing, this white thing right here, and it has water inside of it. And um, this actually comes apart from the rest of the playset. So here is with wheels, like just a fancy little ice cream cart. And you basically just stir and stir this thing with all the little ingredients in there to make ice cream and it makes ice cream. So um, actually I haven't gotten to the other things, but I will show you those in a second. But so down here we have a stool. There are supposed to be two. You can see that I'm missing one. There's supposed to be a pink one right here. But so Barbie or one of her friends can sit here. And if you take it out, it is actually a spoon for you to eat said ice cream. So, um, you know, I mean, it is what it's kind of a neat idea. I think um, there were a lot of play sets like this with food and, and all of that. So I respect them for trying to incorporate all of these like utensils into the design. Like, I think that's really cool. Um, cause I know that the stools and, and the, um, the soda shop playset are for like, they're like shaped like bottles for you to drink out of. So I think that's nice. Um, and like I said, there are supposed to be like sprinkles and toppings and things in here. Um, so over here we have the like dining area and this is supposed to be a table. I do not have the top. That's what happens sometimes when you get things used, but there's supposed to be a top that has a little place where you can put the umbrella over here. But, you know, it is what it is. I got this really cheap. So, um, but then we have a set of chairs. And you might notice that this one is set different. Um, but if I turn it down, it is a chair. And if I keep it up like this, it is the bowl that you eat ice cream from. So, you just kind of take the top off and twist it around. It's kind of like on an angle, if you can't see that. Um, so, that's basically what it is. And and it's a very low seating chair. Like, you, it's just very low it, it's kind of awkward for some dolls to sit in. It's better for like Skipper and, and dolls like that that are smaller. But um, I do appreciate that they really wanted, um, like I said, to incorporate the design of um, being able to eat out of these things. I would never personally do that. I think that's a little weird. I don't want to eat out of my toys. Um, <laughs> I'm just not one that would want my stuff to get messy and like sticky and all that. But and plus this is used. I would never eat from this. Like no offense to the people that I bought this from, but, <laughs> um, so down here we have just like the, the play little mat thing, um, to kind of give it a, you know, a retro feel. Um, and of course it has the Barbie ice cream shop logo. There are some extra little ice cream scoops that I have that don't have any place to be. Um, here's like a design of the little logo on the actual playset. There's one also over on the other side. Um, and up here, of course, we have the menu, which is the Barbie ice cream shop fantasy flavors, tropical confetti, peppermint cookies, honey vanilla, candy bar, and strawberry. Now you might notice that some of those names are a little, um, I don't know. I feel like it's a little weird that there aren't like maybe green ice cream scoops or brown ones or things like that but um you know with names like that so when I play with this with my niece it's kind of funny because you know we just kind of make up which one is which but I do think that kind of helps with the uh, um creative element of playing with dolls so let's just take a quick look at the box and I'll show you some of the the things on there that I find a little funny so here is the humongous box. I'm not kidding. It is ginormous. Um, so anyway, there is little Skipper sitting there eating. I'm pretty sure that's Jewel Secrets Skipper wearing a, um, a be active fashion. I don't know. I think hers is like so active or something. So there is what the table is supposed to look like with the little thing on it. Um, and of course the umbrella. There are some of the menus. She's holding an ice cream cone. There's Jewel Secrets Ken wearing, um, I'm not, I don't remember what that fashion is, to be honest with you. I can't remember everything. <laughs> um, there are just so many things. 
So there is like the, um, here is the uh, cash register that I'm missing. And of course the scooper in Barbie's hand. That of course is Funtime Barbie in blue. Um, I'm trying to see, there's like a nap, not a napkin holder, um, a menu holder. Maybe it is a napkin holder. I'm not really, no, that's menus. Those are menus. Um, and so you can see that my box is a little ripped up. That's, this is actually from, um, my local JCPenney. So I think that's kind of funny. It's funny to think of JCPenney selling Barbie stuff. Um, and it is the coolest place in town with over 50 pieces inside. <laughs> for ages over five. And of course there's a little girl eating the ice cream that she's just made, but I honestly doubt it. Um, I thought she had her mom or dad do it. Making ice cream is just not fun. So I flipped it over and here is the back of the box. Um, so you can see some tape on it where someone had taped it back together. And of course here is all of the um, contents, which like I said, it's ripped. Um, but so th I found this funny. I never even noticed this until I was doing this review. I kind of had noticed before that the background here, um, it doesn't have the flavors listed or anything, but down here it does. And they all have really funny names like Bubble Yum Yum, Very Berry Barbie, um, Beachcomber Delight, Peppermint Twist, and, um, something honey. So, and there is a little girl, and like I said, there are sprinkles in there, and she is sprinkling her ice cream that she's made. Barbie is sitting on one of the stools. It's really hard to get the dolls to stay sitting on those stools. Like, they're making it look super easy, as they always do, but um, it's really hard to get a Barbie sit, let alone a Ken. Um, and, of course, there is Skipper. Like I said, I think Skipper sits the best in those. Um, there is a picture of Barbie sitting, but... Um, it doesn't always work that way. And it, they don't really hold them. I don't know if some of these ice cream cones are supposed to have like little holders for their hands, but um, none of mine really do. And, and they don't just kind of stay in their hands like that. I think that would have been a good idea though, to have little holders. Um, and over here we have her standing with her like little cart and that little girl is making her ice cream. Barbie's just kind of hanging out with tape over her face. <laughs> it's a poor box. Um, ice cream cart is also a real ice cream maker. No salt or ice needed. Over 50 pieces inside. Pop container in your freezer overnight. Make ice cream in less than an hour. Details inside. Easy to follow recipes with your favorite flavors. And I don't have any of that because, once again, it was used. But that is pretty much it. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you'd like to see more play sets let me know or more videos. I do have a few posted right now. So um, if you haven't already, check those out. And um, once again, thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot to me. Um, and I will see you soon with another video. Until then, take care. Bye. Mwah!